the hell happened here? Show. It's Gyo! So Gyo is the one who caused all of this? Hey, I don't see our friends. What do you think happened to them? Come on, don't look so... I mean, they must have gotten away, right? <sighs> what is it? It's Kronos. <gasps> Take your squadron and scan the following sectors. G, A. This seems like a waste of time to me. I doubt there's anyone that can survive Commander Gil's gravity attack. Remember, our enemies are the Giver Three and that proto Zoolord. We shouldn't underestimate them. That reminds me, I thought one of the lost numbers was supposed to be monitoring the situation. Shouldn't he be around here somewhere? You mean that app, Tom guy? That prick's always acting like he's too good to work with us. Oh, well, his loss. I don't see why Dr. Barkus keeps that piece of crap around. He's not even an adaptation number zoonoid. You'd think somebody would just throw him away after he's failed to optimize so many times. Maybe Barkus just feels sorry for him, or something. Well, at least it makes him a good guinea pig, right? That's probably enough reason to keep him around so all the experimentation kills him. Hmm. Oh, I get it. So the doctor's just letting him live so he can play around with him. <laughs> hey, did you hear? The report says that show kid can't transform into the Giver anymore. That's gonna make our job a hell of a lot easier. No kidding. Plus, Commander Kyo went ahead and finished off the Giver 3 and that protozoa lord for us. Good thing, too. I was afraid we were gonna get torn in half or blown up or something. So Kyo got to them. I was afraid of this. <laughs> If nothing else, I have to protect Ms. King. Huh? I found them! Over there! <laughs> Stand back! trying to scare us. See, I told you. He can't turn into the Giver anymore. He's nothing now. What's wrong? Why can't I bio-boost? Get up, kid. You're finished. If you want them, you have to go through me first. So, is that... It can't be, but... No way. Giver 3? But that's impossible. He should have been destroyed by Commander Gyo's gravity attack! We'll all be in trouble if those four hyper show up. Get out of here, now! Makishima? I said go! Right! You're not laying a finger on Sho Fukamachi. Hell yeah! <laughs> because he's my prey. I've eliminated every one of my obstacles. Now, if I can only find a way to recapture Sho's Giver unit... Commander, Dr. Barkas is here to see you. Hmm? You're in much better shape than I expected, Richard. Hmm. It was rather reckless for a Zor Lord like yourself to put his life on the line, especially without a plan or proper backup. That so-called recklessness enabled me to destroy both the test subject and his traitorous little friend. Oh yes, funny you should mention Giver Three. We just received word that Giver 3 destroyed several members of our reconnaissance team. What'd you say? <laughs> that little bastard survived! Well, I'm glad. At least we know Makishima's alright. Yeah, that's true. Hey. We should be safe as long as we hide in here, right? Yeah. Was that really Makishima? 
Maybe it was just my imagination, but something seemed different about him. Hey, Sho? Huh? Since Mikishima made it out okay, then that means Tetsuro. Well, uh, what I mean is everyone should be okay too, right? Yeah. After all, they had Murakami to protect them. I'm sure they made it out fine. We may be safe for now, but if Kronos finds us, we'll be in bad shape. Until I can find a way to bio-boost, I can't protect Miski. Miski. Uh, Could you help me out for a second? I'm trying to get back my ability to turn into the Giver. That's fine, but what are we supposed to do? That's what we need to figure out. <laughs> hey, Asho, what are those? There are these little growths that call the Giver out from another dimension. I should have them on my upper back. Are they still there? You mean these things that look like scars? Yeah, I'm glad I still have them. So even if I can't bio-boost, at least that means I haven't been separated from the Giver. Okay, whatever! I saw the <laughs> scars already! Now put your shirt back on! Oh, uh, sorry. I didn't think that was the problem, but I can't figure out what's wrong. There must be some reason why I can't bio-boost. Hmm. Well, I, uh, don't know much about this stuff, but when did you stop being able to transform into the Giver? Um, it started when that white Zoonoid was attacking me. As soon as I saw it, everything just stopped. I've never been just separated from the Giver like that before. Then, you think that white Zoonoid caused it? Yeah, but it's weird. I felt like I'd seen one before. Let's see. I think that kind was called Enzyme 2 or something. What did you say? There's something about that name. Is something the matter? It's just, I've heard that name before, but I can't... You can't what? Can't figure out what Enzyme has to do with me being unable to transform. Sho, listen. You did go to Mount Minakami, right? <gasps> to rescue your, uh, dad from Kronos? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I went to Mount Minakami to rescue my dad! But then something happened. That's enough, okay? Just calm down and stop thinking about it. So... No, it's not that I had forgotten about it. It's that I was blocking it out for some reason. I've got to remember. What the hell happened back there? I might be able to help you with that. Makishima, you found us! No. Get back, Miski! That's not Makishima! <laughs> Very good. Sharp eye, kid. But the charade's over. You're that same Zoonoid! Oh, so you remember. Yes, I'm Aptom of the Lost Number Commandos. The last time we met, I fought beside my comrades Somloom and Dime. Then why did you save us from those Zoonoids back there? Don't make me laugh. You haven't been saved at all. I just didn't want to lose my prey to a bunch of useless weaklings. The hunt is still on. The hunt? That's right. I'm the hunter and you're my prey. I've come here to avenge Somloom and Dime. I had no choice but to kill them. Oh, I almost forgot. I suppose I should tell you what happened between you and your father, shouldn't I? It happened on Mount Minakami, and it was so traumatic it made you lose your ability to bio-boost. <laughs> you know, I don't have to tell you any of this. I could snap your puny little neck before you even knew what hit you. But no, then my revenge would be meaningless! Now, don't you get it? It's not just you, but the Giver One that I have to crush, torment, and drive to the depths of hell! Only then will I be satisfied! But, since you still don't remember anything, it must be buried pretty deep. I imagine when it finally does come back to you, you'll go out of your mind. Please, leave him alone! None of this is his fault! Hasn't he suffered enough already? It's all right. <laughs> I want to be able to transform into the Giver. Because I have to protect you, Miski. Such commendable resolve. If you think you can handle the truth, I'll tell you. <laughs> you killed your father with your own two hands. I killed him? I killed my father? 
No, you're lying! You're lying! After the five elites took your father back to Relic's Point, Dr. Barkas transformed him into the test version of the Zoonoid, Enzyme 2. Of course, when you came to rescue him, you weren't aware. So when he transformed, he was able to split your head wide open. Touching, isn't it? Reunited at last, a father and son that can't wait to bash each other's brains out. That can't be. Sho's dad would never do that to him. After your brain had been pulverized, you lost control of the Giver, and it was forced to enter its emergency self-defense mode to survive. You mean, after I lost consciousness, then the Giver? You guessed it! <laughs> His arm. That was Dad's arm. I, I killed him. I killed my own father. Oh God. That's right. Aren't you proud of what you've done? You murdered your father with the power of the Giver, just like you murdered Somloom and Dime. Please, he doesn't deserve this. So now, do you finally understand? This is why you haven't been able to transform, because you hate the Giver. You hate it for killing your father, and you hate yourself for using it. You were afraid to admit it, but it's all been stewing deep inside. You couldn't transform anymore because of your own self-loathing. <laughs> you have no one to blame but yourself. When you became the Giver, you brought pain and suffering to everyone you know. <laughs> My father died because of the Giver, because of me. Everyone will... will be killed! All because... Now you get it. Your father died because of you. You got your friends involved in this and they ended up dead at the hands of Gyo. So who's next? When will it end? None of this would have happened. None of them would have been killed if you had never become the Giver. If you had never activated the unit! It's not your fault. Let's see. <laughs> Risky! Are you gonna cause her death too? Let me go! Risky! <laughs> You bastard! Let her go! Miski has nothing to do with this! <laughs> Look at you! You're pathetic! Do you expect me to listen to your whimpering? Maybe you forgot! I said I wouldn't be satisfied until I made you suffer! <laughs> If the 
MacGyver has caused these problems, then MacGyver will settle them! Now it's just you and me! Let's go, Aptom! Come and get me! <laughs> Running already? Even after all that, he became MacGyver. He did it for me. <laughs> he wanted to protect me. Oh, show. Get back here! Just like before! Surprised? Now that I've been re-optimized, I can mimic far more than appearances. Now, Grego? With only a small cell sample, I can self-optimize into any solenoid type. Possess any solenoid power! Five more! <laughs> Too powerful. Nice dodge! You've improved, but I wouldn't have it any other way. If I was able to finish you off that easily, then I'd be disappointed. After all, I won't be able to avenge Somloom and Dime unless I can really make you suffer! No! You know, we lost numbers were just outcasts at Kronos. Those twisted bastards only kept us alive to use us as human guinea pigs. We had not only lost our pride as Zoanoids, but we were robbed of our human dignity! Time! Our only consolation was the bond we shared through the terrible circumstances that brought us together. And then you, you crushed my friends as if they were worms beneath your feet! Is that why you went against Kronos' orders and let Miski and me escape? Because you wanted to kill me yourself? Because you wanted to avenge your comrades? You protected your Mega Smasher, huh? Nice try. But with your arms like that, I'd like to see you try and use it. It's over. You're finished. You said Guyver 1 showed up? I thought the report said it was Guyver 3. It's definitely Guyver 1, sir. At present, he's engaged in combat with a Zoonoid. There's only one, but somehow it's overpowering him. A single Zoonoid beating the Guyver? That's absurd. What type is it? What? You don't know? To tell the truth, sir, I've never seen this type before. Present location... Damn it! Now it's only a matter of time before those four elites find their way here. Huh. I don't know what you think you're trying to pull, but I'm running out of time. So die, Guyver! Come on, Smasher! Open! His armor! It opened on its own! What the hell was that? Move out! Right! right. right. I'm sorry, Dad. I won't run away anymore. I promise I'll never forget your sacrifice. And I'll take responsibility for getting everyone wrapped up in this mess. I will fight this fate to the bitter end. Together, with this Guyver. So please, watch over me, Dad. Together with Mom. evolution leads to the birth of a horrifying new battle creature. Underestimating his own creation, Dr. Barkus unwittingly paves the way for Aptom's rampage. Meanwhile, Shoa Mizuki retreat to a nearby village in an attempt to escape from Kronos' overwhelming sphere of influence. Next time, 
nightmarish encirclement.